Next week, CNN will host an hour-long town hall with, wait for it, Donald Trump. That sentence alone should get your attention, and there is so much to unpack here. CNN spent the last seven years trying to destroy the man, called him a liar, made promos about facts first, and breathlessly reported stories about him that turned out to be totally untrue. Trump used CNN's reporting as proof of the quote-unquote fake news media's obsession to get him. It's almost hard to imagine the two with each other or without each other. Yet Trump will sit down with Caitlin Collins for an hour-long town hall with undecided voters in New Hampshire. May Malman is here, former legal advisor to Mr. Trump, White House Counsel's Office in the administration, Democratic strategist Brad Howard talking about it as well. Brad, this is what I can't, like, this is like Joe Biden doing something he would never do, right? Like, Joe Biden won't even talk to the New York Times, and he's walking in to the lair. It'd be like Joe Biden going for an interview at Newsmax or something. A certain uh, moment in politics at the moment where you see Fox News' ratings kind of slipping due to the Tucker Carlson departure. You see uh, the DeSantis slipping in the polling a little bit. So both sides see a unique opportunity here to strike while the iron's hot, so to speak. And so, you know, for ratings, it's smart for CNN. Uh, for Trump, it's smart because he's broadening his message to an audience that probably doesn't hear a lot from him. Um, the result uh, remains unclear, right? Uh, they're both having kind of having to go back on some of the words that they laid out in the past. But, you know, I, this will certainly be must-watch TV. Uh, my hope is that he'll go on News Nation, though. Yeah, we would love to have him, uh, for sure. Uh, my, May, I, I'm trying to understand this. Is this sort of a... Ta look, it, it, it unquestionably uh, is going to get viewership. But I'm, I'm wondering what the strategy is of, of going on CNN. So that's the first problem. If you're wondering what the strategy is with Trump, you got to just reverse because there is no strategy, right? Like this is just what Trump does. Fox is being mean to him because they like DeSantis and CNN is being nice to him because they want the ratings. So he's being nice to CNN. I mean, this is full Trump. If you're nice to me, I'm nice to you. And also, I think he likes using the upper hand when he has it. And he has the upper hand with CNN. Their ratings last month were the lowest they have been for a decade. They are just hemorrhaging viewers. So my guess is that Trump can expect not kid glove treatment, but a lot kinder treatment than he otherwise would have gotten because he has the upper hand and he likes using that. Right. And look, there was nothing better for CNN than Donald Trump, both as a candidate and then uh, as, a, as a president, as you point out. But I, I still am trying to figure out how you square the circle, right, of everything that CNN said about uh, Donald Trump, uh, bigot, on and on and on, and then having him on and giving this platform. Just, just take a listen to s some of CNN's coverage. If the president came I, out to uh, calm okay. people's fears, he didn't do a good job of it. The former president attempting to stay in the limelight, calling his favorite networks and bashing Biden. Is the rest of the media taking his bait? President Trump is trying to heal the nation. He hasn't even spoken live once. You know, look at the tweets, look at the, okay, okay, never mind. President Trump appears to be amplifying his disregard for the facts. The critical focus of history will judge Donald Trump as a presidential aberration. Uh, all right, uh, Brad, I, I can't figure out how does CNN, uh, other than ratings for one night when people are watching, how do they, how do they win? If, he's if they're very nice to Donald Trump, their viewers are going to hate it. And if they're mean to Donald Trump, uh, he's never going to come back, right? Well, look, this is the ongoing dilemma for journalism in the Trump era. You know, he is bombastic. He is divisive. He says things that aren't true, but he's good for ratings. And so as a journalist, you have a certain question you have to ask yourself, like, do we continue to do things that could perpetuate threats to our democracy, threats to freedom of the press? Uh, he's constantly undermining the press. Or, you know, do we find a balance that allows us to also, you know, get ratings? And so, you know, CNN's under new management right now. They've got new leadership. They're trying some new things. Uh, we'll see how they play out. What I'm going to be looking for is, is CNN going to hold the president accountable to the truth in real time? during the town hall, or are they just creating a massive platform for his lies and divisiveness? And so we'll see how that's going to work, because I don't, yeah. I don't know how you do that in real time. They tried it during the debates. It, didn't, it created a lot of friction that kind of turned a lot of viewers off. So we'll see how this plays out. 
Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.